Hey everybody, it is me, Cactus Rocket Ship, and today we are going to be reviewing my top picks for scary hotel horror games, whatever you want to call it. This video is going to be my own review, so please don't feel discouraged to not play a game just because I said it. I am going to leave a list down below of all the games that I review today in the description. I actually have a total of six games I'm going to be reviewing today. Again, I've played all these games. I'm going to be ranking them my favorite one all the way to the bottom of my least favorite one. So let's jump right into it. Starting at number six being my least favorite game. The game we're looking at here is Timber Lodge Inn. In a nutshell, you're basically a hitchhiker trying to move from town to town and you gotta stay in at a place called the Timber Lodge Inn. Going by jump scares, the quality of the game, the timing of it, um, oof. Kinda confusing to get around in this game because there is one part where you're kind of confused like hey what do i do in this game definitely has that uneasy feeling of a motel that you don't want to stay at this guy right here he's no help though what it seemed as a quiet night at first quickly makes a turn to a hellish nightmare now that is true but understand this game the playtime is about 10 minutes which is not bad for indie horror game gotta love these short ones they're really good but, do the reviews, um, some people liked it, some, like myself, didn't really care for it, but I did play it. And I think you guys should give it a try if you like scary games, why not? Go ahead and put it on two y'all's videos, review it, play it, and maybe you might have a different outcome. Now, I did record myself playing this game, hopefully I can edit it quickly and post it on YouTube, um, and if I do, it will definitely show up here on the video if i don't then sorry this game rating i think i gave it like a six out of ten the next game we're looking at on our number the next game on the list is our number five game now this game is called death trips which again takes place in a hotel and of course, I did play this game already, so I know what to expect. If you guys want to see this video, tap on a link down below or look above right here so y'all can see me play this game. But this game right here overall is a short game. Definitely gets to the point right away. And I would say more or less, it's kind of a meme game. I wouldn't say that it was very uneasy because the way it looks, it looks like a nice hotel. But overall, if you guys give it a try, there is a twist to it. Now, I don't want to spoil anything now. So if you guys want to play this without being spoiled, go ahead and go to the next game. But this game itself, the name Death Trips, it's for a reason. Now, the name itself, Death Trips, you know, you, you, can, you can clearly see a demon is tripping over. I definitely enjoyed it. But this game is on our number five list. Once again, it is called Death Trips. If you guys want to give it a try, tap on a link down below. Short okay. horror game. Markiplier even said this was amazing. <laughs> so yeah, but for me, number five on my list here, go give it a try. Now, for some reason, I must have forgot. I guess looking at the pictures, I thought at the time this was a hotel. But I'm just going to throw it on in there because it kind of has some hotel vibes. It's really called the Roach Apartment. But again, when I first saw the pictures of it, I thought it was a hotel. Even though it says apartment in the name. However, I'm just going to throw it in this list because once again, I then this hotel and the puppet. Ah, you know what I mean. But anyways, this game right here. This game. I'm putting it on number four because, I mean, come on. Cockroach being in your hotel apartment you're not gonna want to deal with that you, you, you're just you're just not and the name of it says it all about what you're gonna be encountering and what you're gonna see the graphics alone is all right and i am bobbing my head here listening to the music oh oh my oh my i forgot about that yeah honestly this game has the graphics of a ps1 but it does have its jump scares and times where you're 
feeling uneasy. And again, if you don't like cockroaches, do not play this game. Because my goodness, you're going to encounter them. It's an apartment, but I mean, look at it. It looks like a hotel. So that's why I'm putting it in this list here. Overall, I did give this game a rating of 8.5 out of 10. And as you can see, there is a huge cockroach that chases you. I mean, I don't want to experience that again, but hey, you might want to experience it. Or if you know somebody that absolutely hates cockroaches, go ahead and have them play this game. And that is our number four of this list. Moving on to number three. Number three on the list is Five Nights at Shrek's Hotel. I don't know if I should really get into detail of this, but you should just play this game. Look at the pictures. Oh, you can't really. Oh, there it is. It's literally Shrek. Once again, these are my personal picks okay, of my list. So who wouldn't want to stay at a hotel with Shrek? You know, Shrek is love, Shrek is life. We got this guy. Very nice guy. His name's Car, by the way. Car. And of course, Jinji. Not the gumdrop buttons! I forgot why I put this as my number three on the list. I guess it's because of the memes. Not very much scary, but definitely one that I enjoyed. If you love Shrek, you gotta play it. I don't know if I gave an exact rating of this game, but I will say overall I would give this... I give it a good rating. It's definitely a meme one. And if you never heard of this game until now, please, I encourage you, go play this game. Tag me in your YouTube video of you playing this. I would love to see your reaction to it. Once again, not really scary, but one that I enjoyed that takes place in a hotel. Now, our number two. Two. Number two on the list is the No Snake Hotel. So many good things to say about this game. No Snake Hotel was made by Two Star Games in 24 hours. Three to five minute playtime. The graphics, the graphics are just, they're really good. If you want to play this game without spoiling it to you, definitely go give it a try. But if you're scared of snakes, do not play this game instead watch this video because this game does have a huge jump scare freaks me out they say no snakes at all in this hotel 99.99 percent guaranteed for this gameplay being about three to five minutes long it is literally perfect and see that's the thing about like indie horror games that you want to play sometimes you want to find a short game to play that gets right to the point and see, for this game, I really enjoyed it a lot because the graphics, the time, the jump scare of it. Now, those three things, those are my expectations for horror games, you know, indie horror games that uh, for me as the content creator, I would love to see, love to play and love to experience. So this game gave it all. Definitely will give it a try. Once again, if you are scared of snakes, do not play it. Overall, I give this a solid 10, as you can see. And now, the moment that you've been waiting for. This is my personal scary hotel horror game that I have ever played. I played it just last night. I have not edited the video yet, but I'm going to. So when it's done, check it out. I'll put it right there so you can see it. This game on number one list is Dark hotel it's a first person short horror game created by a solo developer it takes place in a hotel that is dark enough and creepy completely alone in this hotel but there is something sinister that haunts you this game is absolutely terrifying once again this is only my opinion of the most scariest hotel horror game there is if you guys think you played a scarier one definitely let me know in the comments if you have not played this game tap the link down below play it and tell me what you think this game itself first off it's quiet very quiet most horror games have like a uh, ambient sound in the background not this one you know you have a nice hotel the graphics too are very nice but very uneasy very creepy Again, it was my mistake. I played this game home alone at nighttime, almost at 3 a.m. in the morning. Do not do that. So terrifying. It has its 
Mm. And you just feel so uneasy. Something I can say about this game was, as I was playing, I didn't feel right. Something just felt off. Like I started hearing stuff because it was so quiet in the game that when I had my headphones on, something just like, I felt something, I heard stuff and oh my gosh, it was just such a creepy experience. So overall, this game here is a solid 10 for the hotel horror list, ranking list, ranking list that I am reviewing. This is my first time doing a review video, so I really hope you guys enjoyed it. With that being said, I do want to give a special award because I did not make a video about it. And that is actually going to go to Fears of Fathom. This is not necessarily a hotel type of thing. It's more of a, well, actually, no. Yeah, it's a motel, motel. I didn't make a video out of it, but basically you're a 19 year old who was driving home from a gaming convention. Traffic got horrible. She decided to take the long way to avoid traffic and led to an unplanned trip to a motel. Yeah, that's 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 the jiffy of it. So, you know, you stay at a hotel, motel, and um it's just it's just creepy. It's just creepy. If I remember, because again, I played this one time only, and I should have made a YouTube video about it, but I did not, unfortunately. You're basically being stalked and weird creepy vibes about this game kind of like kind of like psycho yeah if you guys are a fan of the series fears of fathom definitely give this one a try for two dollars 99 cents it is definitely worth it vhs experience as well this also was a solid 10 i didn't really put it part of the list i know it's focused more on hotels even though i said uh the roach apartment but anyways, once again, this was my first time doing a review about games, so I tried my best. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want me to rate something else or a game you want me to try, let me know down in the comments. Besides that, please consider liking and subscribing. Until next time, take care everyone.